The thing to remember about parallel and perpendicular lines is that parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have slopes that are the negative reciprocals of each other. In this question it says which of the following lines are parallel and so I just want to compare the slopes in all these lines and I'm going to quickly figure them out. You can uh, put them all in y equals mx plus b form. I'm just going to sort of quickly do that in my head. I know to put this in y equals mx plus b form I've got to move the 24x over to the other side and then divide by the y coefficient. Well when I move the 24x to the other side it becomes a negative 24. When I divide by that by a negative 24 which is the y coefficient I'm just going to get 1. So that one has a slope of 1, a positive 1. Uh, in b uh, I do pretty much the same thing except uh, I'm dividing by 24 instead of a negative 24. So this becomes negative 24 divided by 24. That's going to be a slope of negative 1. And then finally, I have this one, and all I have to do to put it in y equals mx plus b form is divide both sides by negative 4. And here, uh, 4x divided by negative 4 becomes negative 1. So it looks like b and c are our parallel lines. And in this problem, we're being asked to find a perpendicular line to the given line, y equals negative 3x minus 1. So since our slope here is negative 3x. We want to find a line that has the slope that's a negative reciprocal of that. So a negative reciprocal of negative 3 is going to be a positive 1 over 3. So a positive 1 third. Well, looking at a, to put this in y equals mx plus b form, all I do is move the 3x over to the other side of the equal sign. That becomes a negative 3x. That's not positive 1 third. In this one, I move the x over to the other side, I get a negative x, and then I divide by negative 3, and I get a positive 1 third. So b looks like it might be the answer with a positive 1 third. Let's just check c here. In c, I move 6x over to the other side of the equal sign, I get a positive 6x. I divide that by negative 2, I get a negative 3. So it looks like a and c are parallel to each other and b is the line perpendicular to y equals negative 3x minus 1.